place. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop, stop, stop. Where is the music coming from? I'm going to fucking lose it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Have you guys heard of the Try Guys? They're like bajillionaires. They, I think, are from Vice originally. It's a force. Wow, they have 7.84 million subscribers on YouTube. I thought they were all gay. I thought they were all gay at first. But they're not. Uh, oh, and they're touring. They have a tour called Legends of the Internet. Damn, so what is this guy's been fired? What does that mean? They're gonna. Wow, they took him off everything. Wow. Okay, okay. So this try, guys. It's four guys. For some reason, they're not gay. Uh, YouTuber Ned Fulmer fired from Try Guys admits to cheating on his wife. So, like, why is he fired just for cheating on his wife? What's the big deal? Um, so this was posted, I guess, from the Try Guys. No longer working with the Try Guys. As a result of... Thorough internal review. We do not see a path forward together. We thank you for your support as we navigate this change. So the one they fired is this guy in the orange shirt, Ned Fulmer. <coughs> Maybe the other ones are gay. He was caught kissing the producer, Alex Herring, at Niagara, a bar in the East Village. I know exactly where Niagara is. I've done shows there. It's not even that great of a bar. Uh, popular YouTube group, the Try Guys, fired its member, Ned Fulmer, as he admitted to cheating on his wife, Ariel Fulmer. Wow. Okay, they posted to the group's Instagram page on Tuesday. As a result of thorough review, we do not see a path forward together. Concluded the statement from the remaining members, Keith Habersberger, Zach Kornfeld, and Eugene Lee Yang. Oh, damn. But why did they see him so much as a liability that they had to fire him? Less than an hour later, Ned, 35, addressed the news on his personal Instagram account. Uh, he posted, family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship, he wrote, after being after being seen kissing Try Guys producer Alex Herring, who's like a hot little Asian chick, uh, at the New York City bar. That's his wife, Ella, not Alex, the wife, what's her face? He just said her name, Ariel. She's so cute. And they have two, like, adorable little boys together. I'm sorry for any pain that my actions may have caused to the guys and the fans, but most of all to Ariel. He continued, the only thing that matters right now is my marriage and my children, and that's where I'm going to focus all my attention. This guy has to be gay. Ned admitted to having a workplace relationship less than one hour after the group announced his firing. So is that the whole reason why they fired him? Ariel, 36, with whom Ned shares sons Wesley, four, and Finley, one spoke out amid the scandal. So this is what the wife said. Thanks to everyone who has reached out to me. It means a lot. Nothing is more important to me and Ned than our family. And we request right now is that you respect our privacy for the sake of the kids. Damn, he out. But come on, lots of people cheat and don't get fired for it. Is it because it was with the producer? News that Ned, who frequently spoke out about how much he loved his wife, cheated on Ariel with Harry and came to light after screenshots and photos were posted in a all oh, Reddit. Posted in a Reddit thread. The posts seemingly show Ned making out with Harry at an East Village mainstay Niagara. So this is her. She's hot. Like, no one is shocked. Um Wow. Workplace, workplace romance. What's, it's a huge percentage. What is it? 40% of something or others cheating happens at the workplace. I think that's why Frank is so glad I work at home now. <laughs> uh, that sucks. So basically, I went out to Niagara, the club last night. Oh, this is what the post said. And saw her making out with Ned from the Try Guys. Who the hell? I mean, how do you even recognize him? He looks like every other dude. How would you even pick that out? I have videos if needed. An anonymous Reddit user direct message with Herring's uh, fiance, Will Thayer. Oh, damn. So this person initially. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so they're both with other people. Herring is engaged and Ned is married. Uh, she was wearing a red dress. I don't know if that helps. The message continued. In another DM, Thayer allegedly wrote back, okay, thanks, followed by just spoke to Ariel for an hour. <sighs> Eagle-eyed fans of the YouTube series later noticed that Ned had not appeared in the group's three most recent videos, despite being featured in the promotional material for this season. Whoa. Have you seen this guy's Instagram? Everything is like, oh, she looks like my friend Lindsay there. Everything about Ned's Instagram is like picture perfect. This is why I was shocked that he was straight because it looks like his Instagram was curated by a girl. Like everything is so picture perfect. I'm going to pull it up. Ned Fulmer. I know you're probably thinking, Chrissy, why do you care? Uh, <laughs> look at this guy's Instagram. Okay, he's got over a million followers. He's a comedian. When has he ever been on stage? And every other post is how much he loves his family and his wife. And then it's like these weird gay thirst traps. Like, what straight man? This is kind of a red flag to me. Like, if my boyfriend, fiance, husband is posting some shit like this, we're going to have a talk. Like, we're going to be like, girl. What is happening to you? What's going on? And again, what's happening? Why? The kids are so cute. Like, they're going on these lavish vacations seemingly all the time. Uh, he's definitely, like, part... And again, and then every other... Every third post is, like, something with him, like, shirtless. No one wants to see that. Sorry. Like, you're just, that should be for your wife, yo. And, like, everything is so cute. He's all about his family. And, like, all the while he's fucking around with the producer. Like, they're always going away somewhere nice. He probably makes millions of dollars. So he's probably, like, set financially. Oh, my God. Is that the producer? Is that her right there? Oh, shit. Yeah, he referred to it as a consensual workplace relationship. So this is like a straight-up affair that was happening. And people were saying they were just, like, making out with wild abandon. Not giving a fuck. Who saw them? I'm trying to see if I can find more pictures of, like, him and the producer together. Why? This is not okay. This is like, I would have left him after seeing this. This is like, dude. <laughs> That's unnecessary. Ugh, he's kind of gay. Anyway, did they fire the producer as well is what I want to know. But like, what dude's Instagram looks like this? This is like a a chick would do an Instagram like this. Am I being too harsh on him? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway. Oh, he cheated on his wife with a girl. I, I can call people gay and not mean that they're actually homosexual. I use gay in like a sort of descriptive way. You guys know what I mean. Some You can be straight and still gay. Like, oh, that's kind of gay. Sorry, I was raised in the 90s. That's, that's what I do. Wow. The Try Guys rose to prominence and soared up to the top of YouTube's trending page while working together at BuzzFeed. The comedic foursome departed the media company in 2018 and have since amassed almost 8 million subs on the platform. I guess Yoko broke up this group, too. That's great. Looks like he tried guys and he liked it so much he switched teams. I mean, the producer is also a chick. Everyone's calling them gay. I don't know why this makes me so happy. <laughs> eh. This is interesting. It's only acceptable when a woman cheats because then she's just following her heart or something. Why is this news? The producer he was cheating with got to keep her job. Ooh, is that true? 
Because that's really unfair. If they're firing him over fucking around with a producer and they don't fire her. Ooh. And it appears they didn't because they would have also mentioned it. Wow. Yeah, why would they not hire it? I mean, fire the producer as well. Let's pull up their Instagram. Wow. They also have 1.6 million followers. Dang. Oscar-worthy gasp. But what the fuck is happening to the producer? Oh, wow, they do do stand-up. Okay. Yes, yes. They get a bad rap. They were doing stand-up comedy. Okay, I'm already... I can't. Hmm. Okay, he hasn't been in much of the content lately. Uh, Instagram post. This one, back here. From three weeks ago. I find these people to be kind of unbearable. Just like overly horny. I don't find them to be like authentic. I don't know. The wife made him quit. Producer not fired. Because she puts out. <laughs> uh. Oh, right. Because he can't. Mm. But then again, wouldn't the producer's fiance be like. I guess one of them had to go. Maybe they worked it out. <clears throat> Some people eat on both sides of the plate. <laughs> she was messing with the client, so yeah, fire her too for unprofessionalism. I agree. A white guy and an Asian female are not equal on the level of rights. Oh, man. But she gets to keep her job. What's the power dynamic there? Wouldn't she be the higher person? Yeah, kind of talent versus producer she's a total ninja for infiltrating that company that dude's marriage and then getting away unscathed that is very ninja-esque let's look up this chick what the yeah what's her name i'm now i'm now fascinated with her i'm moving my interest from ned fulmer to producer chick I've already forgotten her name. This is terrible. Alex Herring. Okay, let's go to Alex Herring's Instagram. Let's see. Is she putting out any kind of apology for fucking around on her fiance? Let's see. Let's see if she's feeling sorry. Obviously, she's cute. Okay, it's her with a dog. For me, I really like corn. That's not even her thing. <laughs> okay, nothing from her at all. Wow, interesting. And she gets to keep her job. Um, She doesn't have any, like, pictures with him, which is good. All right. Okay, here's her with her fiancé. The fiancé looks exactly like Ned. I guess she has a type. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like they all have, like, a dream job. Why would they fuck it up? Okay, that's not him. It's somebody else. Are there any men on this show that are more than 150 pounds? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they just, you know, they got, they felt invisible, I guess. they, I guess they felt that they could, like, do whatever they wanted and not get in trouble. Her fiance's cute, though. 
That sucks. It sucks that she would do that. But she gets to keep her job. Hmm. I guess maybe they tried to fire her and she was like, no, stop Asian hate. And then they had to let her keep it. 1.59 million bots and 98,000 followers is not 1.6. <laughs> the 1890s were called the gay 90s because drugs were legal. What if the reason the producer wasn't fired is because she and the wife are also having an affair? Ooh, scandalous. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.